Okay. To run the HPLC unit uh, on this computer, the software, as I showed you earlier, is the Galaxy software. So you come over here and you turn, you turn the software on. So this is the Galaxy software turning on. You turn it on, and basically, the first screen you see here is a screen that shows all the components of the HPLC unit. You have over here the sampler, auto sampler unit. I have the two pumps, A and B, and I have the detector over here. And this is the, these are the lines basically showing how the solvent pumps through the system through the detector and everything. So to start with it, to, for, for, to start, you first of all turn on the pump because you want the solvent to run through the system. Normally we, we turn it on and let it run for about 30 minutes to get rid of all air bubbles or any inconsistencies in the flow. We want a very consistent flow without any air bubbles. And so we turn it on. And this is the way you turn it on. You set the rate at which you want it to run which is set here to 0 0.50 uh, milliliters per minute. And then I turn it on, I click on OK, and the pump is turned on. And uh, usually, like I said, you turn it on and let it run for about 30 minutes before you, 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 you start injecting your samples through it. So after we turn it on, the next thing we do is we turn this, um, the detector on. These are the detectors here, we turn the detector on. And we are ready to um, run. The other two things we need is our method file and our sequence file. So I'm going to go over here <coughs> to open my method file, which uh, I didn't have enough time to go through it, how to do a method file, but because it takes a little bit long time, I have already prepare the method filing system. It shows uh, the peak width we want to run. We have shows the threshold uh, values. We have the baseline value to value right. values. Everything set in here I mean, in our I'm method ready. file. Uh, the next thing we have to we have to get is the sequence file, which I have already also prepared a sequence file in the system. I have also prepared a sequence file in the system. And I go over here and I open my sequence here. And um, sequence here is my caffeine sequence, um, which is big caffeine sequence. So this is the sequence over here. And this sequence here, I have my two unknown samples in positions 9, 8, and 9. And I have standards in positions 1 through Seven. I have uh, 0 0.2 micrograms per 10 microliter to 3 micrograms per 10 microliter on this side. And it shows a sequence that the system is supposed to run these samples. It's supposed to run these samples in this order, 1 through 9. And then on this side here, I have also told the system to use these samples and the standards to plot a calibration curve for me. So I'm telling the system here also that samples in positions one through seven are standards. And as I already mentioned, these standards are specified, their quantities are already specified. So in the end, this system is going to give me chromatograms for the standards, and it's going to give me chromatograms for my own. And it's also going to give me a calibration curve plotted from the standards. Now I've got my method file, I've got a sequence file, and I'm ready to run. So what I do here is to click on this run button. 